There she is, Corey. Whitehorse Falls. Four years since I've been here, Tom. Still looks the same. From up here, maybe. Down below, it's a different story. Well, that's why I'm here. When a logging town pulls up and dies, it's for a reason. Usually bad timber management. This whole area is dotted with a privately owned forest. The owners are using outdated equipment and old-fashioned methods. That just won't cut it today. Like any other industry, they have to keep up with the times. Timber stands in this area properly managed, there's no reason that Whitehorse Falls can't be the most productive logging town in the state. Now, I've just spent two weeks at the Forest Products Laboratory in Madison, Wisconsin. A lot of the things they've learned there through research can be put to work right here and now. We'll cover new methods of tree planting, milling procedure, and management. We'll discuss things here and also work with them in the field. From then on, it's up to you. Are there any questions before we get started? No, I don't think so. gentlemen acquainted with this little fella? <laughs> oh, there you are. Awful sorry. I've been looking all over for this little scamp. How many times have I got to go chasing you all over this building, huh? No harm done. <laughs> Queenie have another letter, George? She sure did. Four of them this time. All males. Named them Henry first, second, and third. And this little scamp is Henry the fourth. <laughs> Doggone if I don't think he's used up most of his nine lives already. <laughs> Yeah, maybe uh, Lassie can help you take care of him. She doesn't care much for lectures anyway. Why, be much obliged, Ranger. What do you say, girl? <laughs> good, good. Come along, Lassie. Come, come on, on Lassie. come on. <laughs> yeah, back to business. Sure do wish they'd put some elevators in this old building. Um, wearies me out just thinking about the climb. And wouldn't you know, we need set up housekeeping on the top floor. <laughs> now you just settle down, Queenie. Lassie's not going to hurt any of your little ones. Matter of fact, she just might help you eat this little rascal in line. <laughs> Come back here. Good girl. Thank you, Lassie. Now, you keep a sharp eye on them, because I got a heap of work to do. in town long, Ranger? Oh, just long enough to get the job done. We got some more field work and a lot more lectures. Well, I sure wish you luck. This old town's just dying on the vine. We sure could use some new ideas around here. Thanks, George. We'll see you later. Bye-bye, <laughs> Lassie. <laughs> Just a minute, Ed. Just stay, Lassie. Morning, Ranger. Morning. 
Another conference today? Oh, field work this time. Just stopped by to get some notes. <laughs> by the way, how's our wayward Henry IV? Sleep at last I saw him. Looks like Lassie's tamed him down a bit. <laughs> There's a double cash crop there. Thin out those firs for Christmas trees. We'll increase the growth and quality of the remaining trees. Now, those skid roads should be laid out more carefully to avoid injury to the young trees. Those broken trees, as you know, represent a loss of income in the future. Let's go over here. I want to show you something. How long do you think it'd take a man to split up those stumps into firewood? Well, six, eight hours. Well, what we've got here can be done in less than an hour. This is an explosive wedge. I'll use it with powder and fuse for demonstration purposes. But in actual operation, you'll trigger it electrically. That's to hold down the possibility of injuring fire hazard. Now, it takes about a teaspoonful of black powder. Let me have that sledge. Stay, Lassie. Put a block behind the wedge to keep it from blowing out. You want to move over that way a little bit? You too, Lassie. beats the way we've been doing it. Why don't you give it a try, Ed? Just used up another one of your nine lives. What are you going to do about this one? Looks high and low. 
All the time he was out traipsing around timber country. Causing trouble, too. I'd put him on a leash, George. Don't tell him what he might try next. That's a good idea. I'll do that. It'll keep you out of the ranger's hair. Lassie's, too. <coughs> they got important work to do. <coughs> I'll see you later, George. Come on, Lassie. the eyes of a lot of people around here. We've been behind the times for 10 years, but no more. We should have asked the help of the Forest Service a long time ago. Operator, get me the fire department and hurry. George, the janitor, he's still in there. George! George Ramsey! George! 
Henry the Fourth is still upstairs. <laughs> Lassie! 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 Over in the station wagon. Give me some water. Right. Well, here he is, George. Thanks to Lassie. You learned your lesson now, Henry? He learned it the hard way, George. This time, I think it's going to stick. You'll probably stay close to home now until good sense comes naturally. Sure hope so. What do you say, Lassie? <laughs> Looks like they'll have it under control soon. Well, it looks like everything's under control. <laughs> <laughs> 